For prophecy never came by the will of men, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Supplementary election results, how I saw the INEX sheets a week before. On Sunday the 24th of March 2019, during the Breakthrough and Revival service, the man of God, Dr. Isaiah Wall, rendered a word of prophecy about the results of the supplementary elections in six states in Nigeria. Let us hear this prophecy in these exact words. I was looking at this announcement. I saw in some states, they were rerunning some states and redoing some elections. Six states or seven states. But I saw two states being announced. And I saw something that will shock everybody because I saw these states being given to PDP. First, the man of God speaks about an election rerun. I saw in some states, they were rerunning some states and redoing some elections. Rerun elections, also referred to as supplementary elections, are carried out to determine the winner of an election where a prior election held could not produce a clear winner and is therefore deemed inconclusive. Also, the man of God speaks about the shocking outcome in the rerun elections, which will lead to an announcement that two states are being given to PDP, meaning that PDP will unseat the incumbent governors in these two states. I saw these states being given to PDP. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, is the main opposition party in Nigeria. Before the 2019 governorship elections, the PDP occupied 14 out of the 36 governorship seats in the country. I was looking at this announcement. I saw in some states they were rerunning some states and redoing some elections. It's six states or seven states. But I saw two states being announced. And I saw something that will shock everybody because I saw these states being given to PDP. As at the time of this prophecy, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had scheduled a rerun for the governorship elections in six states where the first set of elections were deemed inconclusive. The affected states are Damawa, Bauchi, Benue, Kano, Hatu, and Sokoto State, where the elections were held on Saturday, 23rd of March, 2019. Let's take a look at these six states considering the political parties of their respective incumbent governors. Adamawa, APC incumbent. Bauchi, APC incumbent. Benue, PDP incumbent. Kano, APC incumbent. Plateau, APC incumbent. Sokoto, PDP incumbent. It is important to bear in mind that the man of God's prophecy implies that two out of the six states above will swing from APC to PDP. Is this possible? How does he know this and from where has he seen this news report? I saw these states being given to PDP. However, on Friday 29th of March 2019, True to the prophecy rendered by the man of God five days before the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, released the results from the last state where the rerun elections held, showing that exactly two states were converted from the APC to the PDP according to the visions of the Spirit which the man of God had reported, while the other four states remain intact with the incumbents just as accurately prophesied. Let's take a look at the analysis. First, here are the four states where the incumbent retained their seats. Benue, PDP incumbent, retained seats. Kano, APC incumbent, retained seats. Plateau, APC incumbent, retained seats. Sokoto, PDP incumbent, retained seats. Also, here are the two states where PDP took over from the APC as announced by INEC and prophesied by the man of God almost a week before. Adamawa, APC incumbent, lost to PDP. Vouchy APC incumbent lost to PDP. Let's take a look at how news headlines reported this shocking result from the two affected states. Sahara Reporters News, dated Monday 25th of March 2019. Breaking, no second term for Mohamed Abubakar, PDP's Bala Mohamed declared Vouchy governor-elect. Senator Bala Mohamed, governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Bauchi State, has won the governorship election in the state. Mohamed defeated Mohamed Abubakar, incumbent governor of the state and candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC. Today.ng News, dated 29th March 2019, PDP defeats APC to win Adamawa governorship poll. The People's Democratic Party has defeated the incumbent All Progressives Congress to win the Adamawa state governorship election. The results of the elections following a rerun on Thursday 
was announced in the early hours of Friday by the Independent National Electoral Commission returning officer for the election, Professor Andrew Haruna. This confirms the prophecy rendered by the man of God, showing that the Almighty rules in the affairs of men and sees all things before they come into manifestation. I was looking at this announcement. I saw in some states, they were rerunning some states and redoing some elections, six states or seven states, but I saw two states being announced and I saw something that will shock everybody because I saw these states being given to PDP. Adamawa, APC incumbent, lost to PDP. Vouchi, APC incumbent, lost to PDP. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared the governorship candidate of the PDP, Ahmed Fintiri, winner of the Adamawa governorship elections. Fintiri polled 376,552 votes to defeating a Jibrila Bindao of the APC, who polled 336,386 votes. I, Professor Gary Mohammed, here yeah, by certified that Pala Abdul Mohammed of the PDP, having satisfied the requirements of the law and scored the highest number of votes, is hereby declared the winner and is declared elected. Let us continue to pray for the peace and prosperity of our nation, Nigeria, and for God's wisdom upon our leaders at all levels. John 14 29. And now, I have told you before it come to pass, that when it come to pass, ye might believe. The fulfillment of prophecy is a sign to the world and a witness that Jesus is alive and that you may behold, believe in him and be saved. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy, Revelations 19.10. So say out loud, Lord Jesus, I believe in you and I accept you as my Lord and the Savior of my soul. Wash away all my sins and come into my heart. Thank you, Father, for saving me today. Amen. Congratulations and God bless you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to watch latest resources by the man of God, Dr. Isaiah Wealth. Also remember to click the bell icon so that you can receive real-time notification when new videos are uploaded on the channel. God bless you.